Hey, what's happening guys? Hope you all are doing well. This is Tito back with another video and yesterday I tweeted this and until today morning this was your answer. So in this video let's flash the bootleggers ROM and see how is the ROM. So without further any more delay let's make it happen. So first of all, you need to download the ROM from this website. All the important links for ROM G apps and other stuff will be given in the description box below so do not worry. Things you need to do is download them in your storage. You need to have an officially unlocked bootloader and official TWRP cover installed and make sure you are doing it on your own risk. So as you can see I am on Firehound ROM right now. So let's put the phone into TWRP recovery. But before that, I wanted to thank each and every one of you, 1989 people, it means a lot to me. And if you have not subscribed yet, please do it, it will be helpful. Okay, so now let's put the phone into TWRP recovery. Now go to wipe, now advanced wipe. As usual, wipe cache, Dalvik cache, system and data. Once done, go back, go back. As you can see, I am using official TWRP 3.0.2/2 right now. Now hit install. Now locate the ROM and GApps file. Select them and swipe to confirm flash. Now hit reboot system and wait for a few moments. Here is the boot animation of this ROM. Pretty cool though. Note that first boot can take 4 to 5 minutes, so do not worry. As we are booted up into the system, let me complete the setup process. So here as you can see, we have launcher launcher as default launcher. Well too much launcher in one sentence. Alright so for the first time, for some reason it forced stopped, but later it started working fine. But I will use modded pixel launcher later anyway. Let me just turn up the brightness. This is how the quick settings panel of this ROM looks like. We have heads up and night light, screenshot and other toggles over here. As you can see, these are the stocked apps this ROM comes preloaded with except UC browser. It's there because I am restoring Google app data backup. Here we have Shishu wallpaper app, which is some kind of Chinese wallpaper app I guess. It has some cool wallpapers by the way. And this mix app is a file explorer I guess with root access. Here is the settings of the stock launcher if you are into that. Now let's jump into the about section of this ROM. Here as you can see running android 8.1 audio, kernel version is lineage os and still with january 5th 2018 security patch. Now let's go back, in gestures we have double tap the power button to launch camera app option but I won't enable it. Now go back, let's jump into display settings. From the UI style, you can change the device accent to light or dark as you like it, like this. Even the quick settings panel color changes. And from the device theme, you can change the font color. Like here is an example, it is set to French blue. And nightlight mode is working fine over here, so no issues for reading mode users. And now let's go back and jump right into the bootleg dumpsters where all the customization options are. From here, you can customize status bar, quick settings panel, hardware buttons, etc. I will show you one by one. When I tap on the status bar for the first time, the UI force stopped, but right after unlocking the phone, it started working fine. In here, we have option to turn on 4G icon, network traffic monitor, and other status bar icons. I will turn on the headset icon from here. Here we have a bootlegger logo if you want that. 
and you can change the logo style from here I guess. So now let's go back and jump right into quick settings. From here you can customize the quick toggle, column and row numbers, enable quick pull down and smart pull down. And you can even set a header image like this as you can see but I'm gonna leave it disabled. So next up is hardware buttons. From here of course you can customize volume buttons and home menu and back capacity buttons to do different tasks. Now let's jump into the next one which is navigation bar customization. This is how the on screen buttons looks like. You can customize its height and width if you want to. I do not use on screen buttons so I am gonna leave it disabled. Next we have lock screen customizations. Have a closer look if you need to. Next is power menu. From here you can turn on things like torch, screenshot etc to show up in the power menu and yes we do have advanced restart option. On to the next which is recent apps. From here you can enable this clear all button and other stuff as you can see. Next is notification. From here you can control the notification LED and disable heads up if you want to. In miscellaneous we have some other options, have a look if you need to. Now let me open up the google camera app and take a quick picture to show you guys the quality. Here is a picture. Now let's place a call via Geo4G Vault E and see how it works. And yes, as you can see, it works fine. Here we have the end to end gig bin scores for this ROM. I love this VOLD logo on the status bar. And this is how the clock looks like on the lock screen. And all over the UI, the font is a little bit taller. You will either like it or hate it. There is a thing I do not like in this ROM. I'll talk about that later. But before that, here is an example of the instant face unlock working in this ROM. But the thing I do not like here at all is there is no double tap to sleep option on the status bar or even on the lock screen. So you have to hit the power button every time or lower the sleep time to lock the device. Here is a test to show you guys the RAM management of this ROM. Well, everything like Wi-Fi, data, Vault E, camera, FPC fingerprint scanner, torch, etc. work super fine here. And the performance is pretty good too. I'll talk about the battery life later today on Twitter, so do follow me there from the description of this video. And the wallpaper I am using here is from Pixie Wall app. As you can see, all the apps were running in the background. In my opinion, the RAM management is pretty good here, at least much better than MIUI. So that wraps up this video guys, thank you so much for watching, hit the big thumbs up button if you like this video and we are about to hit 2000 subscribers, so huge thanks to you guys, so make it happen, just subscribe to the channel if you like my work. Thank you so much for watching, this has been Tito signing off, I'll see you in the next one, bye bye now.